Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how are you? Let's tap into this energy like we always do. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, and I hope you have an even better week. This is your Monday read for Virgo. Come through, spirit. Virgo, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you come through, spirit. What messages do you have for Virgo? Virgo. Mm-hmm. Virgo, what's going on for Virgo? All right, spirit, come through for Virgo. Can I please have some messages for Virgo? Some moon rising. Virgo, some moon and rising. Messages do you have Virgo? First position. Ooh. You have the star. Mm hmm mm hmm You have the star. Okay, you have the high priestess. Mm hmm mm hmm You have the universe. Wow, okay. Beautiful. Okay, you have the chariot. Moon child. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Mm hmm mm hmm Come through spirit. You have the four of pentacles. Mm hmm We have the ten of pentacles. We have temperance. We have the six of wands. We have the fool card. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have the ace of pentacles. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me look at this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Let's see what you got here. Virgo. Mm. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcanas. Can you believe that? Okay, Virgo, those are seven major events that's happening now, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress energy. Somebody values you, Virgo. But most importantly, Virgo, it looks like you're starting to value yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks like you're starting to recognize the power that you hold in your hands, okay? You're starting to know who you are, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're just realizing that you're more than one person, okay? You're more than just just this this meat suit or just this, you know, this little young lady or this, you know, this uh, person who has taken so much fuck shit and, you know, you're still standing. You're so much more than that and you're starting to realize that. You're starting to realize the power that you hold, nurturing, healing, um, self-love, self-care. You're starting to recognize exactly your power in in your life right now or, or this or, or in this journey that you're on right now, Queen of Swords energy. You might have cut a lot of people out your life, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For your own good, for your own sanity. You might have backed off from a lot of people or you cut a lot of people off. Yeah, very little communication, okay? You will talk to them if they try, but you're not, like, pressed to hear what they got to say. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants to, um, somebody now wants to, uh, 
be honest with you or be in a commitment with you with this two of pentacles in reverse okay uh -huh. they don't want to juggle you anymore they're not trying to play both sides to the middle anymore this person is really want to come correct and be honest with you yes because they love you got the ace of cups somebody loves you very much they no longer want to play both sides to the middle they no longer want to breadcrumb you they no longer want to juggle you and somebody else they want to show you just exactly how much they love you and just how much they have just how much love they have for you. Okay, Virgo. You got first position, the star card. You're getting a lot of attention. It's like you're the star of the show right now, Virgo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're being missed. Some of you need to start wearing white for a little while. Just put on some light colors. Stop wearing so many dark colors. If you find yourself wearing a lot of black, try to get you some bright colors, okay? Try to put on more white as often as you can, okay? Definitely take your spiritual bath, okay? You guys are on a whole new different level spiritually. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're healing. There's a new energy that's coming out of you. You're you're having hope. You're trusting spirit more. Mm -hmm. And your wishes are being granted. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is a star card. Your prayers are being answered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting a lot of attention. A lot of attention. Yeah, you're exhibiting a great deal of, of self-care. You're trusting spirit more. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're praying more. You're relying on spirit more. Highly, highly intuitive energy with this high priestess energy. Uh -huh. This is the all-knowing energy. You you already know. Okay. You get vibes. You get instincts. You get red flags. Your antennas go up. Yeah. You can feel things. You're just very, very empathic. Very intuitive. You're very sharp, especially when it comes to this spiritual journey that you're on. Mm -hmm. And with this universe, wow. You guys are so much more awakened now. Okay. Yeah. This is some sort of ultimate success in your spiritual fulfillment okay you guys have went to you have catapulted yourself to another level here okay the, on this spiritual journey you got the star high priestess in the universe need i say more you're really going places in the spiritual on this spiritual rim here and you're not afraid to tap into it very good very good virgo uh -huh. you, you have passed some sort of test here you're moving to some sort of higher rim or higher level with this universe you're getting downloads from universe all the time universe is congratulating you universe is motivating universe is pulling you into more to go deeper than who you are many of you are really getting um uh strange dreams especially from ufos you might be seeing aliens okay you're just going to a whole new deeper deeper rim it's like the um uh it's like um it's like the more that you tap into who you are the more it's being revealed to you okay the more that's being revealed to you yeah, this goes much deeper, okay? This goes much deeper. You have become much wiser, more softer, okay? And you're much more awakened, okay? Which is delivering uh, some sort of newfound awareness to you, okay? It's like you're... It's like somebody turned up on turned up the notch on you reading energy or you're feeling energy or you seeing things. You might be seeing things, hearing things, feeling things. Okay, you're not going crazy. That's your intuition. This and that that's your your connection to spirit that has been like catapulted to some sort of another level here, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See uh, this uh, this newfound awareness. This has you on, um, this, this newfound awareness is opening up uh, a new path for you to uh, explore when it comes to your spiritual journey, okay? It's like the more you learn, the more you know, the more you're ready for, okay? It's like, it's like you're graduating, okay? It's like, what's next, okay? I, I have learned that. I, I'm tapped into that. What's next? And boy, is it coming next. Mm. Because mm -mm -mm. you're moving towards it, you got the chariot. This is fast movement. This is might this might be some rapid speed that has turned up for you. Like you're more interested in it. Okay. Like I said, your dreams is is beautiful. They are showing you something totally different. Okay. The way you're reading energy, your your intuitive nudges is much stronger now. Okay. And you find yourself getting a whole lot stronger yourself. Okay. You used to be woes me crying all the time, depressed, especially when it came to the matters of the heart. Yeah. Nope, you're not doing some of you anyway. I'm not, this is not all of you. Some of you are not that, I should say, press for it anymore, okay? Yeah, we also have the moon child here. You know, the moon child is just like, 
the star child energy, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to be opening up if you already haven't, okay? You're going to be opening up your, your inner doorway. Mm -hmm. a little bit more okay which means you're ready for some more you're ready to tap further into what you are or who you are you're ready to see where this can go is because you know damn well you cut from a different cloth you know damn well you you your eyes see differently okay that third eye is popping right now okay mm -hmm. you know this you're well aware of this okay moon child or, or some may call it the star child yeah you guys have been opening up uh to worlds um and be let's like beyond this one okay to worlds beyond this you got some sort of deep fascination for this shit now i mean you're just into it you're burning your sage you you you're buying crystals for you going off you're learning how to, to use herbs you're learning how to manifest with your crystals it, it's just like you're tapping more into that that um uh, that balance of their energy of this universe. Okay, some of you might be chanting more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. The, in other words, you guys are you're very connected to the spiritual realm that we are on. You're connected to otherworldly realms. Okay, and you tap into it very easily. Okay, mm -hmm. if you want to. Yeah, because your insight is impeccable right now. You are on point with it. Okay. It's like you see different, you smell different, you taste different. Hell, you have become different. All right. And this is this newfound spirit that you have been tapping into. Yeah, you're going deeper into your inner doorways. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're tapping into your past, past, past life energies and you're pa tapping into them easily. Some of you can definitely uh, talk to the other side clearly. OK, some of you might be some some psychic mediums, not just not just intuitive, not just psychic, but you also might be psychic mediums. You can hear hear sounds from the other side. You can talk to people who have just crossed over or something like that. Very intuitive energies. It don't get no better than this. Very powerful, powerful. You guys are definitely light workers here. Definitely light work is here. Mm -hmm. With this Queen of Pentacles, you're more confident. You're more secure. Uh huh. Yeah, you're much more secure. You're not stressed so much, okay? You're fine, all right? What you're trying to do now is challenge yourself to become more um, of what you can be on this spiritual journey. It's like you, you it's like the more you learn, the more you want. You got this thirst for it now. You have this fascination. You have this craving for it. Uh huh. You have this hunger for it. And Spirit is blessing you 50 going north because of that, okay? Somebody is still trying to hold on to your energy, Virgo. Lord have mercy. This is somebody that you used to know, or somebody that you used to deal with, or somebody who's still trying to deal with you, okay? This person is still trying to hold on to you for a pentacles energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see how this person has her hand around his check, around their neck, like somebody's doing a chokehold? Yeah, somebody's still trying to hold on to you tightly. They don't want you to go anywhere. They don't want you to do anything. They don't want you to elevate. They don't want you to do much. This person wants you to rely solely on them. They want a commitment with you so that you can be codependent on them need them want them uh serve them uh cater to them kiss their ass or something like that this person wants control of you this is a return of a lover mm -hmm. unfortunately this is somebody that you already had this is a return of a lover they want you to be patient with patient with them they want to reconcile with you they want to rectify this uh, situation that you have with them you guys already know this you guys are light workers yourself you're very in tune energy you know exactly who this person is who's still trying to hold on to you because you can feel it you can feel their energy it don't bother you though you can care less mm -hmm. you're just getting a lot of attention now from many people not just this person who wants to come back to you virgo you're getting a lot of attention a lot of people are asking your name a lot of people want to know what you do a lot of people are asking you to come over let's go out to lunch let's go out to dinner many people want to be in your energy okay uh -huh. and you might be very um standoffish behind that you know due to trust issues or you know you're just protecting your energy very good protect your energy you have to be very selective who you let around your energy because all smiling faces are not smiling faces all people who claim to love you don't love you they don't even have to love themselves so how can they be kind to you how can they true be true to you and you guys are aware of that you're very sharp sharp as a knife you are very good at what you do you're very good at reading energy i should say you can feel it you can feel when somebody's shitting you you can feel when somebody's bullshitting you you can feel when somebody's getting jealous of you uh-huh you can feel it you know and these could be people that are supposed to love you these are people who are supposed to be um 
of mature energy, you know. They may come off like, you know, I'm so positive. You know, I go to church. I love the Lord. I love God. Spirit is all in me. But you know that you could feel that dark side in them. And that dark side in them taps into your energy and start feeling a little insecure. They start feeling a little scared. They start feeling like they don't measure up. And then that ugly ass jealous energy comes out. You can feel it and you know it. Many of you are very non-committal energy right now. You got the food card. Some of you don't want no relationship right now. You want to do, you want to come and go. Go as you please. You want a new start. Some of you are so tired of the same old, same old. Mm -mm. It's getting bored and it's getting dull to you. Many of you are about to step out your comfort zone. You might be taking a trip. You might be going on vacation or something like that. Yeah, it's something different that you're going to be doing coming out your comfort zone because you're getting tired of the same old, same old. Life is getting boring to you. And as you're opening up, you realize that you're safe. You're protected. You can do anything that you want to do. Yeah, that stinking thinking is, is starting to to dim Diminish, you know those those minds that mindset of lack. I don't have enough. I can't do it. I'm not good enough. That is definitely diminishing. The more you guys get closer to who you are or get closer to spirit, the universe, the stronger that you guys seem to be. Yeah, this is why you you know you just want to play. Yeah, you just want to play. Very non-committal energy right now. Mm -hmm. But it seems that you have new love who's interested in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is even new love or this is somebody coming back. But I believe it's somebody that's coming back for you, okay? For many of you, this could be new love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you also got the Ace of Pentacles. You got a lot of offers coming to you. Aces are always very, very good. A lot of good offers coming to you. Uh -huh. and, and they're going to garnish a big coin. Somebody wants to offer you a big coin. Big opportunities, in other words. One one more bigger than the other. Okay? Uh, like if you guys are getting, if you're circulating your resume and somebody calls you with this really good opportunity for this job, or oh, come interview with me, or oh, we would love to have you. We have reviewed your resume. Okay, as soon as you decide to take that one, it's going to be one bigger than that one coming for you. Okay, why? Because you have been tapping into the universe. You have been opening up your gifts from the universe by tapping into it. Okay, so it's, you're, you're going to have a hard choice to make. It's going to be so many different opportunities coming in for you. And for those of you who have your own business who say, I will never work for nobody else again, your business is going to soar. You're going to take off because you're trusting spirit. You're tapping into spirit, letting them know that I have, I trust you. I know you have my back. I know I'm tapped into you. I don't do nothing without you. And by showing that kind of energy, showing that type of gratitude, showing that type of, um, appreciation it always reaps some rewards of 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 uh good job thank you okay it's like a validation for you believing in yourself it's a lot of validation for you going within looking at your innate abilities okay yeah because you have been lied to for so long we have bam 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 bamboozled trick led astray Shout out to Michael Max. They have been lied to us for so long, okay? And now this new generation here, especially this new generation, they are so uh, down for tapping into their own energy. They don't need somebody to tell them to oh, read this Bible, conform to Christianity, believe in Jesus, follow Jesus. They don't need that. They already know that everything that they, that they need is within them. They already know God is everywhere. He's not in man. Especially, you know, a white man with blue eyes and blind hair. He's everywhere. He's in the water. He's in the earth. He's in the grass. He's in the trees. He's in you. He's in me. He's everywhere. That kind of energy can't be stifled. But this new generation knows that. Okay? And some of the older generations are learning that. They're getting more comfortable with that. Okay? Uh -huh. Especially the ones that's awakened. Okay? Especially the ones that's no longer blind. You know? You know, no longer with that slave mentality, okay? They know the power that lies within them. And these Virgos that I'm reading for here, they got it down pat. You guys are very intuitive, very gifted energy, very, very strong, very, very strong. No matter how you was raised or what they taught you, you are now going within. And you're listening to the voice of spirit through your own lenses, with your own ears. Those who have ears to listen, you're listening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. So it's getting sharper for you. Your eyesight is getting sharper. Your instincts is getting sharper. You're, yeah, you're very insightful. It's, ooh, it's through the roof. Let's pull some clarifiers. Lord, it's through the roof. Very good, Virgo. It don't get no better than that. Awesome. Mm. Mm. Shoot, what do I pick up after that? Lord.
let's look at the uh, the healing waters. How about that? Spirit, gonna have some more messages for Virgo. Can I please have some more messages for Virgo. Mm -hmm. We got the healing lagoon, <laughs> rejuvenate, recovery, time to heal. It's safe to stop. Look at that. Man, you guys are healing. You're on a whole new different journey right now, okay? Some people might find that you guys are very eccentric. They don't understand you. They can't figure you out. You're so different now. You're not like you used to be. They used to be able to manipulate you, talk shit to you, talk shit about you. you, you you're just in a whole new different level. Now the same people who was talking shit about you, trying to, you know, uh, belittle you or something like that. Now they're trying to get next to you. Now they need you or some fuck shit like that. Now these people want to get close to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tread lightly, okay? We have birth mysteries. What you are being called to create. What are you being called to create? Birth mysteries. What are you being called to bring to life, okay? Is it, is it life? Are you being called to get pregnant, have a baby, start a new business, embrace life with a different insightful energy? What are you being called to do? Mother of the salt waters, passion, wild love. Open your heart, let love in. Some of you need to stop heart in your heart. Mm -hmm. I understand you don't feel like that. You're very non -com non committal energy. You you don't you're not paying love no mind. That's like the last thing on your damn mind right now, and due to the past relationship that you have had in life. But don't harden your heart, okay? You have to realize who God is. God is love, pure love, all love, okay? If you run from love, you run from spirit, okay? It's not saying that you have to be, you know, in love with somebody. Just know what love is. Love is spirit. Okay, so open your heart to love, receive love, let love in. It don't have to mean let a man in or let a woman in. You know what I mean? It gets deeper than that. You know that. Okay, we got the sirens. Okay, use your voice, expansion, and freedom. Okay, yes, yeah, so many of you are going to be manifesting a lot of things now. You're going to be ma manifesting exactly what you want by using your voice. Okay, you know, if you speak it to the universe, the universe returns it right to you. Anything you speak out into the universe, the universe gives you. The universe is is as instant as we are. You want something, you go get it. You you want something, you ask for it. It's going to manifest, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uncalled, okay? Healer, seer, priestess, mm-hmm, soul purpose. Look at that. This is who you are. You guys are definitely standing in your purpose. If you're not standing in it, you will be. Okay? Again, you guys are definitely learning the tricks of this tool, the tools of the, the tools of this, the, um, the layout or the tools of this spiritual journey that you need, okay? Mm -hmm. You're learning to manifest. You're learning to trust what you see and trust your downstone. You're learning to, to decipher the messages that you get. Some of you are learning tarot. You're learning crystals. You're learning how to manifest. You're learning how to heal with the runes, okay? You're definitely doing a lot of different things. And you're learning how to read runes, okay? You're really good at what you do, okay? Embrace it. Keep it going. Many of you are learning how to make your own oils. You're learning how to manifest with oils by dressing candles. Very good. Keep up the good work, okay? Okay, because this is who you are. Mm -hmm. This is who you are. You guys are seers. You are healers. Okay, you are priests and priestesses. Okay, you can manifest and bring forth any and everything that you want. Mm -hmm. We have the water oracle, uh, psychic abilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something crawling there. Okay, we got psychic abilities, acting on visions. It's destined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Acting on visions and it's destined. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. For those of you who said, Why did you kill the bug? I'm sorry. But I can't stand bugs. Mm -mm. A little icky for me. And I got plants all around me. I know they every damn way. But I don't want to spray and kill my plants. Spirit come through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I'm, I'm reading for earth energy. They probably saw me click kill that bug. I say, oh my God, don't kill it. Set it free. <laughs> I'm sorry. Spirit come through. What else do you have for Virgo? Let's see what else we got for you guys. Mm -hmm. What's coming through for these earth vendors? 
What's coming through for these earth finish? Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have time interference. Time deepens on someone else. Third party outside interference. This matter is out of your control. Mm. Okay, you guys might be having some distractions, okay? Don't let nobody distract you or try to get you off course, okay? You're on a whole new journey for a reason, okay? Spirit will definitely remove these people out of your life. If you're saying, you know, Virgo to Orga, I done cut a lot of people off. They had to go, baby. They had to go. No distractions. Uh-huh. When you started this spiritual journey, you know, this was written in a contract. You had to do what you got to do. And anti-interferences, they ha it has to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, transformation change. We got the death card. Spiritual transformation. A renewal is taking place right now. Okay. This is going to be very sudden. A very sudden change. New beginnings are happening for you. Okay. And the old people that you used to hang with, you're no longer going to hang with. You're no longer going to be interested in them. And they're going to feel some kind of way. You change. You ain't the same. You know. Uh, or they might even call you crazy. You know. Delirious. So eccentric. They might even call you names. You know what I was about to say to that. You know, forget them. Keep it moving. Because when you're happy, mm -hmm, achieving true independence, content, not looking auspicious, only you can save yourself. And this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. You're focusing your energy on you. Okay? This is for for you and only you. This is your journey. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is your journey. Yep. We got... Aries season, okay? So you could be dealing with an Aries. You could have an Aries in your chart or something like that. Something could have went, could have happened around what March or, or April. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, spark bold, self honesty, and courage. Okay, choose what feels most true to you. Okay, yeah. This the, the energy of an Aries. Aries is really good at putting themselves first. They can be a little selfish sometimes. Okay, and that's a good quality sometimes, especially if it's a person who's always giving, giving, giving to somebody else. Okay, with this Aries energy Virgos, I'm going to say some of you need to be a little bit more selfish. You just, you know, a healthy selfish focus on yourself a little bit. Okay? You might have been putting the family first, your children first, the husband first, the wife first, the job first. Okay, and ignoring you, okay? Yeah, some of you might have to you know, just become a little bit more selfish and just worry about yourself for a little while, okay? Put your, Make yourself a priority. Do something for you. Yes, very nurturing energy. You're always trying to heal and help someone else, okay? Spirit wants you to just turn a little bit of that on yourself, okay? Yeah, that's those maternal instincts, especially if you are a mother. It's kind of hard to turn it off when you've been doing it for years, okay? Mm -hmm. But you got a whole new world coming in for you, Virgo. This is some sort of completion, okay? You have completed some sort of journey, and you're going on to the next one. It's like a graduation. It's like a spiritual graduation, okay? You got achievements. You got travel. You got journey. Some of you are definitely about to take some sort of trip as well, okay? Mm hmm mm hmm Mm -hmm. We got waste of your time. Nothing will come of it. Not serious. Wrong things. Unwise. Don't ignore the red flags. If this person is trying to come back in your life and all they want to give you is the same thing, don't ignore those red flags, okay? Don't ignore it. Mm -hmm. You say we've been there, done that. We're not going to keep playing this game. You know you know, you don't want no more than what you're giving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you have to let this person know that that's not an option. You no longer want that or something like that. You have to speak your truth. Speak up. Mm -hmm. and let's see if we can pull another deck. Come through the spirit. What else do we have down here? Right here. 
other messages do you have? You're the love of a lifetime, and I find my strength in you. Okay? Somebody really, really, really believe that uh, you're supposed to be with them. Mm -hmm. No matter how they treated you, no matter what went down between you two. Okay? No matter if you're no longer speaking to this person. Somebody's having a great deal of regret of what happened between you two, or if they lost you, or or if they lost that connection that you guys once had, okay? This person is feeling some kind of way about that. Mm -hmm. I dream about being with you sexually, okay? This might be somebody that you never got a chance to, you know, go all the way with or something like that. Or you did, all right? This person might want more with you. Mm -hmm. You might have gave them some once or twice, and that was it. They want more. Lord, they want more. Okay, this ain't this ain't no way for me to live. I got so much love to give. Okay, this is somebody who feels they can love you, or they need love, or they should have love, or you yourself might feel like this. How come I don't have nobody to love? I got so much love to give. I need to find somebody that's on my level, and you will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you were meant just for me. Okay, you're gonna meet somebody who says that to you. Mm -hmm. You're going to run into somebody who feels that about you, okay? Mm -hmm. I see you're getting over me and it's ripping me apart, okay? Some of you are definitely bowing out gracefully from a relationship that wasn't going anywhere, okay? This person sees how strong you're getting and they don't like it, all right? This person feels some kind of way. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. I wish I wasn't married. This could have been somebody that was married. I thought the grass was greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. This could have been somebody that you, that you were with that walked away and got married. Mm -hmm. Walked away with somebody else. Mm -hmm. I need to get something off my chest. My whole world has changed and you are to blame. This person is blaming you. This person is blaming you for not wanting them anymore. This person is blaming you for hurting them, breaking their heart or something like that. This person is mad that you no longer want them or something like that, okay? Hmm. I, I, I don't see how this person has enough nerves to do that, but this person is blaming you big time. It's all your fault. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They feel it's your fault. You didn't do something or you didn't say something or something of that nature. Spirit come through. What else we can get? You don't pay them enough attention or something like that. You didn't stroke their ego enough. They blame you. You didn't understand them or something like that. You, you weren't patient with them. Not that you guys can care less. You guys are on a whole new different journey right now. Mm-hmm. You think about it from time to time, but you just keep it moving. Some of you are afraid of this thing called relationship or love. Mm -hmm. Yep, talking about you, Virgo. Yeah, some of you are a little bit tired of this, a little afraid of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, argue all the time. You may argue with this person far too much, or you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not what you think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and what you guys think it is, it, it may not be what you think. Uh huh. It may be totally something. It might be something else that keep that's keeping this person from being what you want, or you know, holding up their end of the deal, or something like that. This person could be very envious of you. You might have been sleeping with the enemy. Okay, this person could have been kind of jealous of you. All right, admiring your strength, your know-how. Okay. Mm hmm. It could have been dealing with a Sagittarius as well. Okay, many of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to take a paternity test as well, Virgo. Okay, the card came out for a reason. Okay, male or female. Somebody needs to consider testing the baby. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Somebody has already moved on or you're moving on. Somebody's moving on. Okay. Mm. Somebody's also sleeping on a couch. All right. If you're with somebody, if you're dating somebody, or you were dating somebody, seeing somebody else, tell them to get a paternity test. Mm -hmm. 
because be before they mo move or before they leave this person because they look like they're moving on they're already sleeping on the couch before they leave this person they want to find out if that child is really theirs because they won't go back if it is if it isn't but if it is they're going to go back okay mm -hmm. we got to face your fears okay they might they might know it but scared to find out the truth don't want to look like they was being played for money okay a lot of pride and ego yeah this person is going to tell them they're sorry okay yeah this person is going to be pissed off mad okay mad because they're going to feel used or abused or something like that yeah this person might have good money good credit or something like that this person might be very prosperous very popular as well okay spirit come through Mm -hmm. Somebody is also spying, okay? Be very selective, be very careful, all right? What you show, where you go, okay? Somebody is also doing magic, so be careful, Virgo. Uh, I'm not telling you guys nothing you don't already feel. You already have a sense of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Come through spirit. What else do you have? What time is it? I'm going to do one more and I'm going to be done with y'all. Because see, Virgos, y'all like for me to go, always go over time, always. I always go over time with y'all. Y'all y'all energy is so pulling. I can talk for hours to y'all. Spirit come through. Whatever messages do you have for Virgo? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just talked about y'all energy. <laughs> y'all little powerful ass energy. Why don't y'all cut it out? Your powerful ass energy. You guys are so gifted. You're so strong. You're so powerful. Don't even recognize it. Uh -huh. Yeah, somebody's very non-committal energy right now. If you was once in a very, um, if you was once longing for a relationship, or longing for this connection that you were with to, to, uh, to fall through or stay strong, you might not feel the same now. Uh -huh. This 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 person. They may have left some sort of sour taste in your mouth where you just don't feel the same. Yeah. Somebody's definitely on a down low, not being honest. Somebody's faking the phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to be manifesting what you want, Virgo. You're going to be manifesting everything that you want. Okay. Whatever it is that you want. You're very strong. Look at that. Look at that power. Look at that power. We got powerful energy here and we got very strong. That tells me how gifted you are, okay? You can manifest any and everything you want. What you think about, you bring about. So be very careful what you're thinking and what you're speaking, okay? Speak good words on yourself, okay? Think good energy on yourself because you pull it in. Yeah, your money is fine. You might be burning some money candles if you need money. Do so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody drives a, a BMW. Mm -hmm. Somebody drives a Lexus. Okay, somebody likes likes uh, flashy cars or or um, luxury cars. Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Yeah, that's you, Virgo. Okay. Yeah, that's you guys. Some of you might want a, a luxury car, or you drive one, or you plan on getting one. I hope you enjoy my read. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. I should.